this is Mato. In this video I will show you a game between Paul Karras and Paul Schmidt. This game was played in Salzburg, Austria in 1943. Paul Karras had white pieces and he started with e4. Paul Schmidt played c5 Sicilian defense and now knight to e2, knight to f3 is the most commonly played move. Paul Karras played knight to e2, why? Perhaps he had a closed variation in mind. g3, bishop to g2, f4, d3, this kind of setup. Black to move, knight to f6, attacking the pawn, defending, e6, d4, black to move. Paul Schmidt played d5. C takes on d4 is more of a standard Sicilian defense move, isn't it? The knight takes on d4. We have d5. Is this a better move? Well, we'll find out. How would you continue anyway? Pawn takes pawn on d5 or pawn takes pawn on c5? Paul Keres capture the pawn on d5. If d takes on c5, then bishop takes on c5. This is good for black. So we have e takes on d5. Knight takes on d5. White to move. Knight takes on d5. Queen takes on d5. Bishop to e3, black to move, knight to d7 was played. Is c takes on d4 better? It is good for white, because after knight takes on d4, light squared bishop can get in the game. Paul Schmidt played a knight to d7, knight to c3 attacking the queen, queen to d6, white to move, how would you continue now? Paul Keres played d5. Knight to b5 comes to mind too. Do you agree? Attacking the queen and c7 square. This looks like a good move too. We have d5. e takes on d5. Queen takes on d5. Queen takes queen. Knight takes queen, threatening knight to c7 check, winning the rook. Bishop to d6, defending c7 square. Keres castle the queen side a6 preventing bishop to b5 12 moves have been played who is better white is standing better do you agree the game continued knight to b6 attacking the rook this is also discovered attack on the bishop knight takes on b6 rook takes on d6 attacking the knight. You know, black would be happy if he could castle kingside, develop light square bishop and place his knight on a good square. But it looks like black needs many things to be happy. White is already happy. The game continued. Knight to d7, bishop to e2, bishop is coming to f3 to put pressure on the pawn on b7. Black to move. Castling comes to mind for sure. It was considered. King to e7 was played, keeping his king close to his pieces to try to defend the position. But let's see what happens if black castles king side. Then rook from h to d1 after say knight to f6, bishop to f3. And black has a lost position. We have king to e7, rook from h to d1, b6, bishop to g4, attacking the knight third time, rook to a7, well if knight to e5, bishop takes bishop, rook takes bishop, rook takes on b6, rook to a7, rook to c6, rook to e8, 
bishop to g5 check f6 rook to e1 check king to f7 white to move please pause the video and find the best move for white should be easy did you see this brilliant queen sacrifice where is the queen there is no queen okay the winning move is rook takes rook king takes rook rook takes on c8 check and black resigned after king to f7 bishop to f4 white is a piece up and black has no counterplay that is why paul schmidt made a very wise decision in this position and resigned what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now